Hey guys, sorry. Um, today we aren't doing the usual stuff, playing games, um, doing whatever you think I'd do. We're, uh, we're reviewing, I'm kind of like talking about a film today. And, uh, yeah, like, usually I wouldn't really do a review on a film. But today I, I was thinking that, um, I think that reviewing this film w would be good to do. And, um, this film I'm talking about is Ewig and the Witch. If you don't know what it is, it's a Studio Ghibli film. Um, I can't really say the name of the, uh, okay, so I think it's, I think his name's Goro Miyazaki who, um, made this film. If you don't know who that is, that's, uh, Miyazaki's son. And, uh, he created this, um, film, and it's, it was made in 2020, and it's a Studio Ghibli film. Of course, you know Miyazaki's name from a mile away. <laughs> and, um, this is the most recent one that we got, the most recent film that we've got, which was released in 2020, and I know it's 2022 right as we speak, but 2020 was just a few, um, two years ago, actually, really. And, um, I watched it when I was sick, uh, I felt sick, I'm not sure if I was sick, um, at my grand's, and, um, I actually quite enjoyed the film, actually, I dare I say, it's, it was one of my favourite films I've watched, and, um, the reviews I saw were just baffling to me, seriously, like, I was looking at these, and I thought, oh my god, why is it this underrated? If you don't know, um, the rating on it, IMDb for... 0.8 out of 10, just baffling. 30% on Rotten Tomatoes and 3 out of 5 on uh, Empire. Like, seriously, the fact that it's that criminally overrated kind of scares me. But I thought, uh, into the years diving in, um, we would g get to, you know, g just come to terms with the film, get like, like it a bit more, but I guess I'm the only one that really likes it on this channel. And on this, like, on this platform, most uh, things I find of Earwig and the Witch are, like, hate things, like, oh, this film's bland and boring, they really messed it up, it's a CGI mess. Well, I think that, really, it's just a criminally underrated film. And you can disagree, but, um, seriously, it's just my opinion, I think it's a really good film. I'm looking at, like, the Google page right now, and, um... Yeah, just looking down the reviews just scares me, so I'm just going to cover my camera. <laughs> going to cover it with the camera. And, um, yeah, so, oh, also, um, it's, I think, if I'm correct, it's getting a sequel. Let me just check number two. Um, I'm trying to, I'm not sure whether it's coming out. Oh, yeah, there is actually a second one, Earwig and the Witch 2. And I'm looking on a page right here. Except all. Uh, uh. Yeah, so I'm not sure when this is coming out. I think it's coming out. Uh. uh I'm trying to look for it. 2022 or 2023. So. It's coming out probably the end of 2022 or 2023. Which I'm quite excited for. To see how the 3D department in. Uh, Miyazaki's. Um. Studio is gonna do here, and seriously, um, Earwig and the Witch was a, a cinematic disaster, like, was a box office bomb. Coming in with only seven t 726,000 dollars coming back, and oh my god, seriously, like, seeing that bad of a review on not that bad of a, like, film, in my opinion, it's just terrifying to me. Just, they spent millions of, like, dollars, I live in the UK, so I usually use pounds, on this film, and only getting, like, a half of the money back, that's just baffling to me. Seriously. Like, if you haven't watched it, I, re I would recommend you watch it, and it's, because it's a really good film, and seriously, it does not deserve the hate that it gets. So, um, yeah, pardon me, um, 
So this would be so this will be my last video, not on the channel, not on the channel before I go back to my school. Before I go back to school because yeah, it's sadly it's in as Christmas holidays. Wishing you all a happy new year, even though it's like the fifth of January. And um yeah. I'm just coming to put it out that I love you, Wigan Witch, and I'm kind of anticipating the second movie. I'm, like, seriously, I don't get why so many people hated it. Probably just because of the CGI, because probably, like, it's 3D, and we're just used to seeing 2D, which... 2D is kind of fading out from the, um... Fading out of 2020 into 2022, and I think we're going to see more 3D animation from Studio Ghibli, which... A lot of old time fans will not like, but yeah, we we might have to just deal with it, or maybe they might just release some more two D things. Yeah, and if you are gonna ask me, I am gonna miss the two D animation. But still, I think I prefer the three D animation, and I do hope that there are gonna be more three D animation ones. And uh, let's hope that the sequel to Ear Wick and the Witch does more. Like more is more successful than its predecessor, because seriously, it's just terrifying to me. Oh, and um, before I go, if you didn't know, Earwig and the Witch was based off a novel by the same name by um, Diana Wayne Jones. So I haven't read the book. Um, I might have to get on like a Kindle or something, or just get the book. Yeah, so, um, from that, I will go now from this nonsensical review, and if you want to see more reviews on things I think are criminal and rated, I am not saying the Emoji Movie, I, cause if I would say that is underrated, I would get a million hitmen on me, and, yeah, I do like the Emoji Movie, but I'm not making a review because I don't want so many hate reviews on me, <laughs> that would lose even more of you from, because, I think I already lost most of you from this video, <laughs> Yeah, like, seriously, if, I bet when I come out with this, I'm going to look on my channel, and I'm going to see, like, less subscribers now, and I'm terrified, so, if you disagree with me, don't, like, start thinking, oh, you're wrong, you're wrong, it's just an opinion, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video, or review, um, about my LSD Dream Emulator, um, video, I'm not sure if it will be coming out, seriously, because, like, I'm not sure if YouTube will ban it or something, or whatever happened to my intro video. I'm looking at you, YouTube. What did you do to my... What did you do to my <laughs> intro? I, I just added subtitles and it just comes off. And, um... Yeah, um... May, I'll probably start uploading on, like, um... Weekend basis, because I really need to do, like, school and stuff like that, and wait until, like... Oh yeah, my birthday's coming soon, so I'm going to be 13, so... Woo! Yeah, I might be doing a birthday video, I'm not sure. Maybe going to be like a studio, another Studio Ghibli review, like Ponyo, or Howl's Moving Castle, or Spirited Away. Or like, Grave of the Fireflies. Anything, like, if you want me to review anything on my birthday, just any Studio Ghibli films, just comment it in the comments below. So, I hope you enjoyed this nonsensical video. Please do subscribe and like. And I will wish you all the better days. Bye-bye!